Hey guys, this is the Dark Preacher, and welcome back to Steam Engineering. So, between last episode and this episode, I did some mining. I did a, a lot of mining, actually. As a matter of fact, I'll bring up my map. Oh, it's not showing my case. Hang on, one moment. We'll go down here. Now, as you can see on the mini map, there's quite a bit down here that I already lit up. And when I say quite a bit, I mean quite a bit. I've taken this all the way down, almost to bedrock. I kept running across lava. So I just had to come up over here. Start clearing out this cave. The cave that we found last episode. And it was bad in here. Like, really bad. Like, almost super hostile map level of mobs in here. It was nuts. And the amount of resources just sitting around everywhere. Look at all this. I haven't even lit this entire place up yet. See? Still got, still got spots over there that I haven't gotten to. I got a little spot there. I got some over there. I've got diamonds just hanging out in the wall. Everywhere. Not only have I gotten diamonds, but I'm at the point now where I took a trip into another and used my diamond pickaxe to get ethereum crystals. Now I'm going to set up a new portal because the spot where that one I set up before wasn't the best. Because there was no, absolutely no, another fortress in a 500 block radius. Shoot. Now I gotta remember how to get back out of here. <laughs> That's the thing about this cave system. It's a rat's nest of tunnels. Anybody could get lost down here. Good thing is, there we go. All nice and marked. That's my way out. Oh, but I've already started clearing out some stuff on the surface, and I've processed what bit of ores I've already gotten. And I got part of my bridge decorated that I wanted decorated. Because four pieces of hemp and a stick gets you hemp rope coils. Well, they only attach to structural cable connectors. And those are made with steel. Well, I went into the nether. Didn't find a fortress, but I got a whole bunch of netherrack. I smelted that down into nether bricks, which I then turned into nether bricks, and then turned into a bloomery. Now, with a bloomery, you smelt one iron and four coal in it, and you get steel. Iron goes there, steel goes there. I'm making charcoal here. I've got coal coke. Oh, pardon me. Coal coke in here. 
gotten a little more organized. Uh, let's see, got that stuff there. And quite a bit of it. Down here, look, I've already got half a stack of diamonds. Half a stack. I've got four stacks of iron. Four stacks of copper. I got ten coming out my ears. And I finally managed to get some tungsten and some carbide. Which is very important for what's coming next. I need to make machine housings. So I can make an electric furnace, the basic generator, multi block chassis, thermal piles, block breakers, miners, the miner. I need to find natural gas. Put in coal. But I can make a heater, infinite water. Supplies adjacent blocks with water. It doesn't need a water source underneath it. It's just a block that pumps water into whatever is above it or next to it. Electric switch. But this right here, this is what I'm concerned with right now. Along with these, which are used in the crusher control, the grinder control, sterling generator, refinery, multi block components, which are used in oil distilleries, sifters, refinery tanks. These are huge multi block structures. Let's sleep through the night real quick. And I'll show you the spot where my first factory is going to go. This is going to be my factory. Cleared out some of that. Also added another farm over here. Which at the moment is nothing but industrial hemp. I still got another row to go on this. So, all that grows, and all this grows. Knock it all down, replant it. I've got seeds, I've got hemp. Easy peasy, living squeezy, right? Well, one shortage I might have is clay. And there's no way to make it. Not in this bag. Can't just sit there and add a bucket of water to a block of sand. Although I might add that risk. Ooh, excuse me. Very tired today. Stayed up late last night working on off camera stuff. Like clearing and lighting up that entire cave system. Oh my god. But I think I might start with just a hempcrete foundation runner over here starts start turning some of this cobblestone into a different kind of cobblestone now you might have noticed my tools ethereum this stuff you find purple crystals in the nether and it takes about as long to break with a diamond pickaxe as it does a piece of obsidian. Well, let me tell you, that's annoying, especially when you have a gas shooting at you. And then obsidian to 
tools. You make out of obsidian slates, just like a normal tool. You take the obsidian slate, you make the shovel, the pick, the sword, axe, whatever. It takes nine obsidian. It takes a while to get to being able to make these things. But as you can tell, there's no durability. The sword is plus 10 attack. The shovel is efficiency 3.0. The Ethereum pickaxe, efficiency 10.5. Obsidian picks efficiency 3.0. All of these tools are efficiency 3.0. Which, if it showed, would probably be about the same as stone tools. They work and mine just as slow as stone tool. I've got my chisel. Because I'm going to do the floor down there. Chisel. Switch that out. And I think. Huge cobblestone tiles are the order of the day. Now the upside is to these obsidian tools, they never break. Never. So I have a plus 10 attack damage sword that'll never break. Downside? You can never enchant them. They cannot be enchanted. That's the only downside. They can't break, but they can't be enchanted either. So you cannot put sharpness on the obsidian sword. You cannot put efficiency or fortune or subtouch on the obsidian pick. They're basically work tools. These are not for specialized projects, these are just to keep going every day. Now if you want specialized tools, we can get into those, possibly by next episode, if I can find enough tungsten. Because there are certain machines that I want to build. need to power with certain machines from Magneticraft. Because they take electricity. Like there's uh, the Tesla coil, which basically works as a wireless charger for Magneticraft electric tools. Might, might, dang it, might be able to get away with being able to build some of this stuff, powering it with something else, simply because of the alternator from Magnetic Craft. But, Next little bit, I'm just gonna speed this up. Is you know, me digging a hole and then filling it in with blocks is kind of boring. So, be back in a second. <laughs> Thank you.
not too difficult. Well, I got the floor and I got the bottom of this. I think all we're waiting on is for me to figure out what I'm going to do for the actual walls. Because I got hempcrete. But I could possibly do something else. Just have the hempcrete be the decorative bit at the bottom. But I would need to move this and this and even this little setup down here. Now, before we do all that, actually, yeah, let's just let's just move this down. Take our bucket. Take one of those. Get the heck out of here. take a nap and in the morning we'll go set up this boiler over here because I can make charcoal like it's cool how much this four hearts right one dead sheep easy peasy lemon squeezy then quicker you can say Jack Robinson. Okay, yeah. Ah. Out of the hole. Alright, that goes there. Hop back in here. That goes there. Put the intake block there. And we'll put cobblestone back. Take the boiler. Set it on top. Yep, fill it up nicely. Good, good. And then I think what we're gonna do. So I'm going to craft up a few more steam turbines and you saw how I did that last episode so but I'm going to add more pipes and a few more steam turbines and we got plenty of power and I'm going to set up a few basic machines so I will be right back alright guys I'm back and getting ready to build one of the first machines I need. Oh, wait a minute. I need redstone. So, one of the first machines I'm going to need over there that takes power, like a is. Oh, where did it go? There it is. The electric furnace. Because you definitely want an electric furnace. And if you're going to do anything. As far as ore doubling goes, you definitely need an electric furnace. Now, I need an RF alternator. <clears throat> Pardon me. Two magnets, two copper coils. Copper coils are easy. You can get plenty of those. Let's just do that. And then take our magnets and make some more. See how easy that is? RF alternator, alternator. Oh, come on now. Yeah. 
not because they don't stack. I know they stack. Weird. Really? Oh, paha. Huh. Uh, I think I need more coffee. <laughs> One cup in the morning is not enough. All right, we got that. Now we need it for this guy, the RF alternator, because this produces RF. This takes electricity. And we also need a heating coil. We'll start out with your basic iron. Iron? Hmm. Well, ooh. Okay. <laughs> coil. Iron heat coil. Up here? No. Well, there's a bug I need to fix. Which, let me see here. There's a reason why I play with cheats on. So, what we do is we find a Metacraft. We don't need it. Put that there. Metacraft main. I need I need coil. H4H iron heat coil. There we go. Now Mind Tweaker Recipe Maker. If you find something that you need to craft, use this. Okay? I won't be mad. But I think what we're going to do is use four iron bars. It makes the iron heat coil a smidge more expensive, but since you need to make these anyways, why not, right? So, save changes, okay, and close. And then, just go back into this mode, and there's our iron heat coil. Now let's see here. What was I going to do? Sleep through the night again. Then we're going to go and set up some things. One, two, three, four. Why? Why am I still? Could have sworn. Should I can still swear? <laughs> okay. Let's get our turbines set up. Two turbines. Steam goes in the side. And we'll toss in a little bit of charcoal. And it, it won't take all that to fill this up. Or fill these up with power. Alright, alternator. Let's see here. Nope, that's not the way we want to face them. See, these things, these things have a directional thing. This side is where the magnetic craft power cable comes out, and this side is where the RF goes in. And it holds 3200 RF, so. 
はい。What we need? Let's see here. Is we can use these the LV wire connectors, and since how we've got everything else except for some normal sticks, one, two, three. Take eight of those. Get a stick. One, two, three. We might move this a little bit. So、this figures out what it's doing. All right, that there, that there. One, two, one, two. There we go. See, if you cannot go from this to this, and it says connection is is obstructed, try it from the other way. Because sometimes it gets a little confused. And now, all we need is the spanner, which I've got down here in my toolbox. Ta-da! Toolbox. We'll just put that away, that away, and that, 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 that. Let's see here. I'm going to need that. Also going to need not that. No, let me see here. I think this is correct. Yep, low voltage cable. Forge Micropark compatible. Two pieces of wool, one piece of copper. Yep, yep. Let's get this cable set up. Okay, that there. Electric furnace. Then grab our spanner. Take a whack at a the pipe. And watch this sucker make power. It's filling up with volts. Put the iron heat coil in. I need something to cook. I need something to cook. Let's go put some stuff away. Put that up. That. That. Draw plate. Not that. That away, that away. That way. That, 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 that. Put those up. We can get that way. Small stack. We 
make a little more charcoal. See, now that's completely filling up with power. The battery storage on these, once it gets up to a certain point, fills up. But, um, let me see here. If I were to get a normal furnace, we'll just make one real quick. Take a normal furnace. Compare it to the electric furnace with the iron heat coil in it. Put that in there. And we watch the front. Let's see which one finishes first. Speed this up a little bit too. All right. As you can see, the electric furnace is already done. This thing's only made three pieces of coal. This made eight. Matter of fact, this is exactly how fast this works. It uses 400 watts. It's four times faster. It uses 400 watts. Which, in the grand scheme of things, is not really all that much when you consider that these I'm only running one combustion boiler and two turbines. That combustion boiler is running off charcoal. That's finally done. So, what we have here is a decided upgrade. And what I'm going to do between this episode and next is finish off building the basic shell of the factory. I'm going to figure out a block that works well with the hempcrete, and I'm just going to build the walls up. And it's going to be quite a tall structure. I'm going to add in a basement as well. And that's where my power supply is going to go. All my power is going to go down there. So, let's get a little sleep. Get a little sleep. Get a little sleep. Come on, let me sleep. You let me sleep. Come on. Come on. Hey. There we go. I'm going to get a little sleep. And in real life, I'm going to get a little more coffee. And I'm going to get back to work on this. Because right now, we've got power production. We have power conversion. And we also have a fast way of processing things. Now, I'm still processing my ores by hand, but next episode, that's when we're going to get into the fun stuff. Because I am going to make a grinder. But, it's not going to be from immersive engineering. Yeah. So.
as always, I'm the Dark Preacher, and this is Steam Engineering, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.